Hey guys, it's Big Mike, and like always, I'd like to thank you for being here today. Today we have a webinar with Matt Zimberg of Optimus Trading Group, also known as Optimus Futures. And Matt has several things he wants to talk about today. This is primarily a uh, webinar that focuses on uh, people that might be new to Optimus um, or just want more information about the services and products offered by Optimus. So some of the things he's going to discuss include the uh, available platforms, um, some of the things that you can do to get help from Optimus, like a direct chat option that's available uh, right within NinjaTrader, um, some of the mobile trading support or uh, the ability to place trades on mobile platforms. Uh, for those that are looking at hosted solutions like dedicated servers or virtual private server ser servers, he's going to talk about that. He's also talking about some of the uh, uh, free programs and research that he gives away to uh, uh, some of his uh, customers. Uh, Matt has said that he wants to hold questions until the end of the presentation, so you guys can type the questions at any time, but uh, just hang out until the end, and once Matt is done uh, giving his presentation, then we'll go over the questions and Matt will start to answer them. The webinar is being recorded as always. If you're watching this on YouTube at a later date, do me a favor and give us a like if you like it. And uh, without further ado, I'm going to turn things over to Matt. Okay, Matt, you should have the option now to uh, share your screen. Oops, I, I think I, okay, your, your mic should be good to go now. I was, I was uh, competing with you to unmute it. All right, Matt, are you there? cannot hear you. During our test, I could hear you fine, and now I cannot hear you. Is your mic on mute, Matt? Okay, now I can hear you. Whoops, it went away again. There we go. Now I can hear you. Okay, you you can hear me now, but yeah. with an echo, or is yeah. it fine? <laughs> with the, with the echo, but better better okay, than nothing. Let me, let me try something. Can you hear me now? Yeah. Yeah. It's still with the echo. It worked fine in the test. I don't know what changed. Is it better now? Okay. Now there's no echo. Fantastic. All right, man. Okay. So it's all yours. Thanks, Matt. Thank you, Mike. Uh, it's a pleasure being here, and Mike, thank you for giving me this opportunity to talk to your group. I've been a fan of your site for many years, been a member, uh, spoke to many members here, and I've learned a lot um, from about traders' needs, and it helped me kind of shape the way things work at Optimus Trading Group. Um, I'll go over today over the services we offer. I'll try to uh, also make it a little bit educational and give you an opportunity to ask me questions. Um, I just wanted to know if you can see my screen as I shared it. So, Mike, yep. if you can just tell me if... Uh, yeah, right now we're see seeing the disclaimer. Yeah, okay, great. So, yep. fantastic. Okay, so this is a legality. I must read this disclaimer. And right after, we'll start. <clears throat> Trading futures and options involves a substantial risk of loss. It's not suitable for all investors. The use of stop loss or contingent orders may or may not protect profits or limit losses to the amount intended. Certain market conditions may make it difficult or impossible to execute such orders. Best performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. There are risks associated with utilizing Internet-based execution, but not limited to the failure of hardware, software, and the Internet connection. Since Optimus Trading Group does not control signal power, its reception and routing via the Internet, configuration of your equipment or reliability of its connection. We cannot be responsible for communication failures, distortions, or delays when trading via the Internet. Optimus Trading Group employs phone support in the event of platform failure. Okay, so now that uh, we finished that, let's start. Um, one of the things that we currently, um, I'm not going to talk in any particular order, by the way, so I would appreciate it if you grab a pen and paper for any questions that you may have. 
um, and I'll try and answer them afterwards. So <clears throat> over the years, a lot of customers have asked us if we have anything mobile um, with specifically um, for trading or backup or anything of that sort. And uh, we truly did not have anything that we could rely on. So over the last, I would say, probably 12 months, we engaged with another technology company uh, to integrate Rhythmic into an, a mobile application. And I don't think this mobile application is suitable for people who are scalpers. I don't think you can actually trade for ticks on it. but it's a good backup um, as far as a system if you're not if you're going away from your computer I think it's also uh, allows you to monitor the markets um, when you're outside of your uh, trading environments to see what's going on and basically it's very convenient because it can be on an iPad or a phone or anything like that um, it's listed in both the iPhone store and the Play Store and uh, in order, to, I don't know if you can, guys can see here the uh, URL, but it's optimusfutures.com forward slash mobile. You can try out the demo over here and see if it works for you. Now, the way it would work if, for example, you're a user of NinjaTrader, you can actually access your account through that as well. So basically, we give you two usernames. One would be a username for your for example, for your Ninja Trader via Rhythmic and one for the OTG Mobile. And that way you can actually close your positions through um, that uh, device. So I'm very excited that we were able to do that. As you know, brokers are not technology providers. That's not our specialty. We are really, for the most part, here to support your trading on every level, but we don't develop those products. And we don't, in Optimus, we don't even attempt to. We work with technology companies who know what they're doing. We test it out for months upon months. And we literally took anywhere from four to six months just to play around with it, just to see that it's stable and it's actually working. And so we're finally excited to launch this. I don't know if anybody else out there is using a mobile device that uh, utilizes Rhythmic. But I think, uh, from what I know, we're the first one to do so. I will tell you the cost for this. This will cost $30 a month. And basically, there are, no, uh, there are only the rhythmic routing for it. So that's basically the entire cost. For this, um, here you can see it has the dome, it has charting, it has quotes, it has just about everything you need, and you can um, and it looks very nicely on um, iPads. The display is very, very uh, clear, crystal clear. So, as you know, we're not, we don't have exclusive to Rhythmic, of course, but we've been using it for the last five to six years. And I'm going to walk you through the main sites that we have right now um, so you can see how we integrated it. Uh, I know that many of you are... Ninja Trader users. So we have a site called Traders Platform. Basically, you can test out the rhythmic connectivity through there. And one of the things that I wanted to discuss, or maybe educate the newcomers or people who have existed, um, you know, people who have traded for a while, um, as far as choosing a provider. Um, so I know there is CQG and there's Continuum and there's Rhythmic and there's TT and so forth, and we provide all that. But for the most part, I decided to focus on Rhythmic. And the reason that I did so was because for a broker, a data feed is also a point of where he can help customers when they need support. So he has to be very familiar with that environment. And also, every feed is, um, what's the word I'm looking for, is also a risk environment, is where you set the risk parameters for the traders as far as how many contracts they can trade. Um, you know, uh, day trading margins and so forth. It's extremely hard uh, to focus on all the environments out there and get to know each one of them. So although there are specific needs out there for customers and we have to get familiarized with it, for the most part we try to centralize it in one environment where basically we can control it and help the customers. And so far it's been 
you know, it's been very useful, just like you guys um, are looking for a broker who will support you and uh, give you the time of day when, when help is necessary. It's the same thing with brokers. We're looking for support from the people that we use their data feeds and so forth. Unfortunately, Rhythmic does not provide the Eurex market, so now we started working also with Continuum, which is a division of CQG. We're getting familiarized with their entire risk environment and so forth. And it's very important um, if in the events of uh, you know, where your internet or computer malfunctions, um, we need to just get you out of the market with one click. So we got to know what we're doing. So we're very familiar with the environment of Rhythmic as much as we can. Uh, now we're getting familiarized with others, but only because Rhythmic does not provide the Eurex market and Continuum does. And customers are always right, so we have to facilitate them that way. So this is our uh, site for Ninja that we have dedicated. I, I really don't want to make it a sales, site, uh, a sales presentation, so you can just uh, go through that. And, and we've uh, explained how Rhythmic works with uh, Ninja Trader. Rhythmic itself provides 30 days of demo. Um, for every 12 months. So they're very strict when it comes to the implementation of their data feed. And uh, basically, once the 30 days are done, you, get, you have to establish an account. And once you establish an account, uh, then you obviously can demo it as long as you want. Uh, we also created a site called Tick to Trade. And this is all the platforms that we have connected to the rhythmic environment. Rhythmic has a number of environments, um, as you know, and some of the trading platforms, like NinjaTrader, for example, have an internal IP trading um, environment. Some others don't. So we basically work with a database provider who uh, basically knows how to channel when people asking for a demo. Uh, one of the things, as also Mike mentioned, is the whole hosting site. Um, we provide Again, through other parties, there are two, two companies that we work with to provide connectivity through the exchange, um, sorry, closer to the exchange uh, through hosting. Uh, one is CIRMAC in Chicago. And CIRMAC in Chicago is basically where the old exchange is. And it's very good. It's very advanced. However, there are customers who are a little bit more advanced and they really look for one tick or two tick execution. And it's very important for them to host it as close as possible to the new exchange that the CME created. Uh, and it's an Aurora. And basically, in both environments, you can connect to them. Aurora is a lot more expensive than connecting to CIRMAC. However, on both of them, you can host your uh, platforms. Uh, there are customers at Optimist Trading Group that actually have uh, built their own um, trading interface and actually using Rhythmic only as the API. Um, many years ago, when we started you know, investigating who we want to work with, I spoke to a lot of people who actually use the Rhythmic environment with their own equipment. And they use our trader as the uh, more of the accounting side of the business. Uh, not so much to execute the trades, but really follow uh, the trades that have occurred, look at the history, and use it as a backup. So that's basically the two things that um, we looked at when, when it came to Rhythmic was, you know, where where do they send the, uh, the orders to if there's intermediary centers and so forth. And right now I can tell you that Rhythmic sends it directly to the Aurora Center, which is the most advanced uh, trading engine of the CME. Um, let me take you to some other sites here that we have. This is basically our main site. Uh, we're working right now on redesigning it in the next few months, but let me walk you through that. Basically here, it lists all our services. It lists the hosting services, managed futures, automated services, and so forth. Let me just talk to you a little bit about uh, the managed futures. I'm not here to sell you on any one particular CTA or its performance. Uh, however, some of you are successful traders who want to trade for other people. We do that. Um, this is one of the services that we offer. It doesn't matter really what platform you use. 
as long as it's a platform we have. We can assign control accounts where you can trade for other customers and our back office will allocate it to the appropriate people. We've actually, we didn't realize the size of the, uh, of the business um, of people wanting to trade for other people, friends, friends and family as they call it. So we basically did everything we could to have a very organized back office in order to allocate it right and so forth, have full view and full access to each account and so forth and explain exactly um, how it works. Um, one of the uh, other sites that we that we have, sorry, one of the services that we have is automated trading services. There's two types. One is where customers basically give us their code, whether it's an easy language or C sharp, we run it for them and we can execute it for them. So if you have a system but you don't have the time to execute it or basically Know, just want somebody to, to do it for you. Um, we can even get it hosted for you um, in, one, in one of our hosting facilities that uh, we utilize. Um, let me see what else I can show you here. Okay. Oh, okay. Here, this is uh, systemstrading.com. And again, you know, I, I don't want to turn it into a sales uh, presentation. But all I can tell you is that this is there's a small number of vendors that we work with, and we basically try to contact those people who are not only vendors, but we try to gain contact with people who are really know what they're doing, and we do our due diligence with those vendors by asking them certain questions, or we sometimes ask some of our successful customers if they would share their algorithms that they trade for a lease. So basically. Uh, the other customers who are interested in those kind of services would actually go list the services, um, list their services, and basically trade their systems. Of course, I don't want to downplay the risk in this. And we're not guaranteeing or promising anything. We're just saying, you know, we try to do our due diligence when it comes to other people trading. Uh, this is one of the portals that we have. Let me just uh, bring it back here. Okay, actually. Um, unfortunately, it was logged out, and I don't want to log back in because it's going to reveal too much information. Um, but I just wanted to uh, tell you on our vision portal, you you will get uh, research, and uh, there are updates. They're not so much for day traders. They're more long-term trends for people who just want to look at the overview of the markets. I apologize that uh, it was logged out. Um, if you'll drop me an email, Matt at OptimusFutures.com, I will send you a sample uh, of what we did. And uh, one of the things that I wanted to tell you that uh, is very important here is that a lot of people rely on their trading platform to see the balance and the executions and everything else. It is as equally important to check it on your statements. There are prelims that you will see every day, preliminary equity runs, where your trades are allocated. At the end of the day, you should receive a PDF from Vision Financial Markets, our clearing firm, that would state that all the trades that you have done, uh, basically the longs and the shorts and so forth. I might as well mention here some other things that, you know, if some of you are new to the business, day trades basically take precedence over long-term trades. And a lot of people get confused over that. So for example, if you are long a contract and five o'clock came by and you didn't liquidate it and you go into the next day and then you sold it and you bought another contract the same day, the buy and the sell that occurred the same day will be matched and the long-term trade will be carried forward. So it doesn't follow the accounting. It's first in, first out and it doesn't follow typically the accounting that people want to follow and it gets them confused. But really in the long run it does not, I mean in any run, in short run, it does not affect the performance of the account or, or the balance of your account or anything like that. Let me see if I could cover anything else here that we have. Um, I think that's pretty much it. So I will just uh, let you ask me any questions you want and again you can Really, you don't have to ask me specifically about Optimus. You can just 
I could answer anything and just draw okay. from my experience to help you guys out. Okay, so if anybody has questions, you go ahead and type them now. Um, Matt, I had a question for you about that uh, Android app. Um, can I, you said it's on the Google Play Store. Does that mean that I can get a demo from? Can I, decide, can I just go download that or is that only after I get some kind of login credentials or something from you? No, you, you can actually go and, you know, it's actually very good that you mentioned it. I know there's a company out there that's also called OTG Trader Mobile or something like that. So somebody asked us about it and I think they're from Korea or something like that. I'm not sure. But if you go to the Play Store OTG Mobile Trader and you find the one from Optimus Trading Group, you can actually test it out. You could actually have 30 days of demo. You will, I think the link on their page would actually drive you to this page that you'll have to fill out. And then you can download it and play around with it, yes. Okay, cool. And you said that it, it works on tablets. So the, the, the yeah. resolution or whatever is, is such that it works on a, not just a phone, but a tablet. That is correct. It okay. will work on both, yes. Okay, cool. All right, let's see. Um, Dawson is asking, is the mobile platform a white label of something else? I don't, I don't know. I'm not familiar with what he's asking, so I don't want to name any names. Did you, I guess uh, you had this made just for your use or something like that? Yeah, or is I, it... I, don't, I, I don't mind. We actually reached, with, uh, reached an agreement with a company called QST, okay. and they actually white labeled it for us. We actually have a special pricing for them. Their application typically costs a lot more. Uh, that they charge monthly, but we bought it in bulk uh, and okay. we basically wanted to have our own. The only thing that I think right now is working is our, is our implementation with uh, Rhythmic. Okay. All right, BB is asking, what do you think about multi-charts versus NinjaTrader versus Sierra Chart? He's specifically asking about OCO, one cancels other orders um, that are not on the the user's computer. So we this comes up a lot on the forums. I know that you're very familiar with it. Basically, it's called server-side OCOs uh, so that if somebody gets disconnected off the internet or their platform crashes or whatever. So you take it from there. You let us know. Okay. Um, well, I, first thing I wanted to tell you, that, that I'll address the first question. A lot of people ask us, you know, which, which platform they should choose. And, and I understand the dilemma. Um, however, you know, I always say try one first with the one you like the interface. A lot of people really underestimate, you know, the convenience that they have if something is visually appealing to them. You might find that, you know, NinjaTrader is more appealing than MultiCharts, or you might find that MultiCharts is more appealing than Sierra. That's really what it is. You know, every single one. This is how I essentially choose one of the first elements that I use. Then it comes to functionalities. I think, I mean, I, I may be wrong, but I find that most beginner traders or even the one who are intermediate have very basic needs for trading. I don't find that majority really utilize the entire functions the, uh, that, the, that the platform um, offers. So it's very hard for me to come out and say, you know, choose one over the other. And I really would kind of throw it back at, at, you know, at the user and say, you know, let us walk you through each one of them and see which one is appealing to you and where you find the functionalities either, um, easier to implement. You know, where's the buy button is easier, the sell button. It's just those kind of things because once you trade and things move really, really fast, you want to have something which is convenient for you. And this is how you know, basically the first guide that I would have as far as choosing a platform. Now, the OCO orders. Um, unfortunately, Rhythmic does not, if you run Rhythmic through any third-party interface, the OCO does not exist, and, for, and, it's, and it's residing on your computer. I think uh, Continuum, I'm not sure, I think they do um, have a functionality through NinjaTrader, where basically if you run it, it would sit on their server. But here's something that I wanted to say, you know, because I'm such a big fan of Rhythmic and I never, and I never hide this fact. Download our trader as well. Learn how to use their dome. And, and once you submit it through the R trader platform, your OCOs would actually sit on the Rhythmic infrastructure. Now, 
ideally, if you say I don't want to, you know, to do that, then I think it's really worthwhile exploring a functionality, um, sorry, uh, a service where you basically host, you get a hosted solution, and you simply put put it on, you know, on a on a server. One of the things that's really important in all this, just to bring into discussion, is when we help people technically. I mean, I, I don't want to. You know, I don't know how I don't want to sound too harsh, but it's really shocking how many f things they run at the same time. They have the Skype open, you know. They have their, um, you know, some chat line open. Then they listen to some webinar at the same time. I mean, it's just, and all those things really affect uh, your execution. So when it comes to OCO orders, you want to create a stable environment. I always say you gotta have. I'm not recommending to have just a computer for trading. But at least when you trade, have everything else closed, so you have a stable environment. So if you don't have a server or you don't use the rhythmic R trader, so at least it resides on your computer in a stable right. environment. I hope I answered the question. Sure, and I, you know, that's the Cermak servers that uh, that you offer. You know, I've got three out there, and I'm pretty sure that we're we're with the same company. Um, and I, you know, it's really ideal for what you're mentioning. If somebody has a a questionable internet connection that's kind of flaky goes in in and out. You can get one of those servers, you know, through you or or whatever for for pretty cheap. And um, I would describe them as rock solid. I mean, I've I've had three for a long time with basically zero downtime. You know, they have generators, they have redundant internet connections. So um, even if your local computer, you know, were to go down during a thunderstorm or your computer crashed or whatever, like Matt is saying, you're, you could be executing on your virtual server in Chicago, and that server is extremely unlikely to go down. Okay, let's see. Um, T, I'm not going to pronounce the last name correctly, so I won't try. T is asking, how safe is this software and strategies? at the uh, CERMAC data center. Um, I think he's talking about like who has access to it maybe, and he's wanting to know what the monthly cost is and whether or not he can install any of the software himself. Um, if we take somebody's strategy and we run it, for example, on an application like NinjaTrader, basically we have to get the algorithm. Um, a lot of people are not comfortable doing that, so I say it's fine, you know, then you can do it yourself and get a hosted solution. If you want us to do it, then what we do, we sign an NDA, which is a non-disclosure agreement. I'm not in the business of cracking into other people's codes and trying to figure out their method. All we want to do is just execute it right, and basically you can see the execution that occurs on our trader. That's basically how we do it. We run systems that are um, easy language based and ninja trader and you can do that um, if you like the time now as far as how stable it is I think it, we use um, servers uh, like Mike said in Cermak we right now we're going to have servers um, in Aurora as well that we're going to implement so I think it would be more stable uh, than and you know your own environment at home however you know, there is no such thing as 100% safety in terms of uh, stability. So uh, I would say that, you know, anything can happen. We just, the only thing we can do is really, uh, you know, do our best to execute it right. One of the things that we do initially with the developers, we run the system, we wait a week, and we then see all the trades that have occurred. And then we confirm it with the customer if those are the trades that were supposed to take place um, along with stops, targets, and so forth. And then if, if that sounds like we did a good job in terms of running it, then we obviously, uh, then we can implement it for the customer. Okay. And uh, going back just a second to the other guy's question about the platforms. So... Uh, some people like like me have all the platforms and I run multiple platforms at once sometimes and then you know eventually uh, after years of pulling my hair out trying to get every platform to bend to my will I finally said you know what I'm gonna just write my own <laughs> um, 
which uh, you know Rhythmic has a an API um, that you can directly access uh, from from your own meets. Can you tell us about the API? Is there is there like a developer charge, like an annual cost, or anything for support, or how does that work? Um, typically, typically the API charge above the commissions is ten cents per site. Naturally, I'll give you an example. We have one customer who does a lot of trading. What he did, he basically built his own equipment and he sent the equipment to Rhythmic to host it for him. So it was his own. Uh, that's a, a different ball of wax altogether and I'm using here an extreme example but just to show you the capability of Rhythmic. Basically you take the equipment and you host it directly on the, um, on the infrastructure of Rhythmic. Other people when they use the API they typically just host it somewhere and use the API connectivity. So the only cost that exists out there really for most users if the equipment is not being sent and it's your own it's basically 10 cents per site. Uh, there are different levels of service and Rhythmic also provides something that's called remote hands for an additional fee where they basically have somebody on the exchange that would actually look into your, uh, into your equipment. But I would say for majority of people, for example, like yourself, Mike, who decided to build his own infrastructure, it's very simple. All you have to do is really host the solution um, in one of the CERMEC or Aurora servers and basically just run the API and the only thing that you have uh, then at that point is the 10 cents per site cost over and above the commissions that you negotiate. Okay. Speaking of uh, uh, costs of platforms, is there is there any difference on, I'm putting you on the spot, sorry, for, for like uh, Ninja Trader versus Multicharge versus CR Chart to kind of cover three of the popular ones? Do the commissions change on those? Um, for the most part, no. Um, really what we decide um, when we negotiate with the customer is really based on the frequency of trading. For the most part, they're all basically equally the same because we use uh, the, um, we use the rhythmic uh, feed. That's what really makes the difference between, I would say, one platform and another. For the most part, depending on the volume that you do as an introducing broker, you negotiate, you know, a rate, you know, with your FCM. Um, a lot of people are always under the impression if they go to the FCM, they will get a discount because they don't have to go through an intermediary like an introducing broker. But really, what happens in reality is that an introducing broker might do a lot more business than a certain broker that sits inside the FCM. So we might get a much better price um, than people going directly with an FCM at times. Right. But I would say for the most part it's really competitive and it's all within the same range. Okay, and I, I know I've seen some posts uh, on the Sierra Chart website that you guys are, are, I don't know what the terminology is, like one of their premier partners or something to that effect. Um, I, does that mean that, that somebody, does somebody have to bring their own Sierra chart to you or can they get Sierra chart from you or is it included or how, how does that work? Or for any platform, well, not just Sierra? Well, one, one, one of the things, well, okay, let me try and answer that. Majority of the customer that come to Optimus, I wish I could say that there are people who are starting out. We do have people that open up accounts every month and they're new to the business. But I would say majority of people that come to Optimus do end up coming from other brokerages. I, I don't know specifically why, but that is the case. I would assume that maybe, you know, we're not big advertisers, so maybe they don't get our name first, but once they're in the business, you know, they do a little bit more diligence, due diligence and they get to us. Specifically as far as Sierra, we have negotiated with them to give our customers the, um, I think it's called package five, for twenty-seven and a half dollars instead of the forty-five dollars, I think this is really the only advantage uh, that we have. I would say over the regular subscription. Okay. And also, as far as I know, Sierra does provide history with their charting as well. With right. This. Yeah, I'm a fan of Sierra. Most people know that. So that's that's the package that has everything that has all the volume profile and everything all built into it. So that's pretty cool. Correct. Right. Uh, let's see, the key master is asking the question, can you discuss slippage relative to tick-based strategies? For example, 
how many ticks of slippage can you expect on the ES, the SP500? Typically, the, the slippage is, is one tick. Um, I would say, you know, although I've actually seen slippage all the way up to one point. Now, when you backtest the system, there's a lot of things. I think that was the question, right? What happens when you do the back testing? Or am I... he he didn't say back test in particular, just slippage oh. on tick strategies. Just slippage. Okay. So typically, I would say it depends on the time of day. Typically, from what I've seen, it's one tick. However, I've also seen it go all the way to one point. It's very extreme. It doesn't happen you know, a lot, but news announcements, things of that nature, it could happen. I, I would say that if you have a strategy that, you know, that a tick matters, it probably is not the best of strategies out there. That's, th that's, that's the one yeah. thing I would say, you know, if you just rely on that one tick and it makes a whole difference for you, I, I don't think it's, uh, it will have a positive expectancy in the future. I mean, you really have to when you're a retail trader, you really have to accept that you're a retail trader. And you can't try and build strategies like somebody who has, for example, exchange, um, I apologize, just one second here, uh, my screen went blank. Um, for example, like somebody who has an exchange membership. So for the most part, for example, let's talk about the E-mini S&P. I would say, Retail customers they pay around two dollars and thirty cents NFA and so forth, you know, for a round turn. If you have a membership, you can pay you can pay way way lower than that. You can actually pay one third of that, and that makes a huge difference for people who are short term traders. So yeah. in building strategies, um, you know, that are would have a positive expectancy and would have some sort of a realistic return. You cannot rely on this one tick slippage. You know that's the only thing you get. It's just right. that's what makes the difference in your strategy. It's probably not a good strategy. This is just from practical and pragmatical experience. I know a lot of people probably don't want to hear it, but you know I, I just have to be honest and say that's sure. The case. I've got I put I put up some uh, research numbers in this area. If you're interested, if it's in a thread called uh, Mas Master Homework and Statistics on BMT. Uh, I think it's an elite thread, but um, anybody who's interested can check it out. And uh, you, m most importantly, you can run your own statistics, and that way you can feel more comfortable with the data. Um, speaking of uh, lower commissions, real quick, Matt, I know last year the, uh, the, the leasing a seat or buying a seat was getting pretty ridicu ridiculously cheap. Um, I mean, insanely cheap on some of those exchanges to, to lease or buy a seat. Is that... Is that still the case now? Or do you do you have a lot of people looking at that? Yeah, there's a lot of we actually we actually assist people in in doing that as well. Um, if you go under services here, actually it should be here CME membership leases right over here. Okay, and if you click on that, we can if you give us your details, we we tried as much as we can to list everything here as far as cost and the membership. And I think for, for some people, it's really worth exploring it. Uh, they spend, you spend a lot of money on commissions. If you're a day trader and you go in and out, 20, 20, in, 20, out, at the end of the day, basically, you can substantially lower your fees. That would definitely impact uh, your bottom line by getting a certain membership. Yep. Um, I don't know the details of every single membership. We did assist people, but I will tell you this that the CME is very flexible as far as the number of trades that they obligate a trader to do with a certain cost. So I definitely suggest you, uh, uh, you know, look at this link, read about it, and definitely go from there. But yes, right. we do have people who actually lease um, seats. Is there, do you know off the top of your head, like what a rough number of trades per month is until you start uh, benefiting from the lease? I think the lowest one, and again, I could be wrong. I have to look into it, but I think the lowest one is a thousand. 
you know, you have to pay a certain monthly fee and then it's a thousand, but I would right. have to look into that. I, I haven't looked for several years into uh, the CME one, but uh, yeah, there's a break even number at some point where you can save like a dollar a side. And uh, obviously, if you're doing enough trades, then it will pay for itself very quickly. Okay. Um, BB is asking if you know of any free domes that might be similar to a bare bones uh, version of a dome that you guys are, are selling on the uh, Optimus website. I guess he's talking about for NinjaTrader or maybe any platform, I'm not sure. Okay, he says any platform. Matt, are you there? I lost audio, Matt, can't hear anything. No. Oh, Mike, okay, I, now you're back. You. Now you're back. Okay. Okay. Um, here, I found something here. It's interesting. Right here at the bottom, you have the individual lease terms overview. I mean, we put this link up maybe two months ago or something like that, but here you can clearly see um, 0 to 200 contracts a day, you know, 0 to round turn aside. Um, here you have some of it. So I would say here, 0 to 200 contracts a day, you can actually start really looking at uh, basically leasing a seat. I think okay. that, uh, you, you know, I, I think over time, you know, there are periods at the CME where you have, they trade more, they trade less, and so forth. But I think that in order to encourage volume, I think they're very flexible as far as the cost. So I would say your your observation overall is right. You know, it's still very reasonable to get. Okay, it. and I don't, I don't think you heard the last question. So BB is asking if you know of any free domes that might be similar to a bare bones uh, version of a dome that you guys are selling. And I and he's clarified the question to say that he's talking about any platform. Um. Okay, can you repeat the question again? I, I missed, I, I want to think about it for a minute while... Uh, whether or not you, it. yeah, whether or not you know of any free domes that are similar to a bare bones uh, version of the, the dome that you guys are selling. I think you're selling a product called 9G and he's saying, do you know of anything that's free that works on any platform that's similar? Um, free, the only free platform that I'm aware of are basically the R Trader platform, which you can get, um, you know, it's R Trader is free of charge. Then after that you have the, basically the free Ninja, uh, direct edition, and then you have the free multi-charts. He's talking about the dome, the actual add-on, I believe. Oh, the actual add-on, no. Something like that for free, no. I, yeah. I don't know any. No, yeah. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay, uh, let's see. If anybody else has any questions, now is the time to ask. And Matt, was there anything else that you wanted to cover today? Um, not in particular. I, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about, you know, something I neglected at the beginning, a little bit about the history of, of Optimus Trading Group and, and how it got evolved and how it functions today. So, as I mentioned, um, many of the customers that come here are basically people who are traded elsewhere. I think that every single brokerage that was mentioned, that is mentioned on Big Mike, we actually received customers from. And we basically try to listen very, very carefully what has been, uh, you know, the neglect uh, for the customer, what's important for him, and, and try, you know, not to repeat the same mistakes that have been committed in the past. Um, just so you guys know, up until 2008, um, I was not in the discount space at all. We basically did a lot, a lot more systems trading. A lot more people used to call in uh, their orders and so forth. But naturally, over the last six years, more people want to be independent. More people wanted to trade on their own. And basically, we catered our services that way. We don't maintain a sales team here that I yell all day, you know, to open accounts. Instead, I try and hire people in the firm that are very technically savvy and very good at what they do. For example, you know, because of the popularity of NinjaTrader and so many customers who wanting that product, we ended up hiring uh, John, who has been working for Ninja before, so he knows the platform inside out. 
So for me, it's really ten times more. I mean, ten times better. Sorry, than than having you know five uh, sales guys on the phone who just claim that we are the best. We really try to uh, claim we're good by the services and the support we provide to traders. Uh, my philosophy is basically when I get up in the morning and I go to work, I truly understand that my livelihood is relying on other people taking risk with their capital. That they worked very hard for. And I right. don't underestimate that risk that you, and, and the challenges that you guys have. The markets are very difficult. I know what you guys are up against. And, you know, I, I try to explain it to many people outside the industry what brokers, you know, how should they should function, you know, because at some point, you know, there's a lot of customers, everybody's trading and everybody's going to have the same, uh, you know, might have the same requests throughout the day, but you really have to remember at the end of the day that, that I know that some of you try really, really hard to learn the markets. I, I'm not naive. I know that there's a lot of people out there who get very excited about trading dream about becoming a day trader and just dropping their boss, their job, you know, um, and, and just do that for a living and then their excitement dies yep. after a month when they realize how hard it is. Yep. And I know that there's a group of people out there, but at the same time I think there's also a group of people who are very methodical, are very thoughtful, and they understand that the markets are not going to give you a gift. I understand the mental challenges, the psychological challenges that are facing people. So as a brokerage firm, I really try um, to support customers and really tell them the reality. I'm not, if somebody, for example, asks me, like, like the other person who has asked me about, you know, strategies that rely on ticks and things like that, I, I tell them, is, you know, the, the truth. We have one customer in particular that really is one of the better traders out there that I've seen. And initially when he came, you know, and we spoke a lot back and forth. Um, you know, he told me his method. I, 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 again, you know, he's responsible for his own success. But along the way, I told him that I think he should trade a little bit longer term, um, relatively longer term. He's still a day trader, but not concentrate on takes or two takes, but rather on points. And I think it made a huge difference in <clears throat> in his uh, in his trading. So I think when you guys go and shop there for a broker, you know, you really have to talk to somebody who is also practical and can give you practical advice when you grow yep. as a trader. Yep. I'm not here to claim that, you know, <laughs> my rhythmic is better than their rhythmic or my ninja is bigger than their ninja. Not at all. Uh, you know, but really you just have to have somebody that you have a relationship with uh, that you can actually consult with when you grow as a trader that would help you implement realistic solutions to your trading. And also, to you, there's a lot of circumstances. There are circumstances where some people work all day. You know, they, just, they just dedicate this hour a day, you know, they'll say, okay, I'll trade 11 to 12. I mean, that's it. Right. Is it the best solution out there? I don't know. But I try to tell them the negative and the positive that they will encounter, right. you know, in implementing, what, in implementing their strategies or their methods and so forth. Yep. Um, I think, I mean, naturally, Mike, you know I'm a big fan of your site and you know I'm a big fan of your attitude, in, you know, since you created this, uh, you know, this forum of really the realistic solution that in the rural reality you always drilled into traders to tell them, look, this is the case and it is what it is. We, yep. And we, we think alike. Along those lines. That's that's what I was going to say, Matt. I was going to say you you know me fairly well for the last five years, and um, I'm all about realistic expectations, and I really dislike when others, whether it's brokers or vendors or trading rooms or somebody selling an indicator or whatever the case may be, I really dislike whenever uh, it's very unrealistic expectations because I feel like people are getting taken advantage of. So, you know, one of the reasons that uh, I, you know, I've asked you to be a sponsor on the site um, when most people I say no <laughs> is because you're you're one of the guys that's very realistic, and I think that's extremely important for people. So uh, a couple more questions came up that I want to get to real sure. fast, and there's one that I thought of myself that I want to uh, get to real fast before I forget it, and that sure. is the uh, you have some new feature um, that might appeal to a lot of people that are, that are running NinjaTraders. You have an ability to... 
Uh, is it just chat, or what? What is it that you can do inside of NinjaTrader? Well, basically, what we did, we we have an add-on for customers who have NinjaTrader. We work with the developer that actually it opens up a window right on their chart that allows them to directly communicate with us, and it's free of charge. You know, it's it's rather unfortunate, but you know, I've developed this tool, you know, with with uh, somebody for a long time, and I threw it out to people, and I said, look, it's free. If you want it, um, you know, just use it. And unfortunately, there weren't that many people who were interested in it for some reason. I don't know if people don't just don't want to run it on top of their ninja, or they think it's better to call. But in any case, if somebody is interested, what we have is a direct chat directly from Ninja. If you have a question, for example, you know, let's say you're trading yesterday, you were trading the May contract in oil, and you think is when is it the right time to get out? You just ask us on the chat really fast. We see that you are a customer. We respond right back, and the chat again is right on the right. Ninja chart. I, I actually, you know, thinking back, I should have actually opened up my Ninja and showed how this feature works. But it's really very similar to a, a, a chat out there that uh, right. we have. Maybe you know, it's it's something along the lines of here. You know, it it will show up right here, so we can just talk. Oh, I think so, one of the reasons that that uh, I liked it so much is. I, a couple of years ago, I was developing something very similar with a couple other people from the forum, uh, and it let us share charts and share video of charts and audio of charts in real time. And I was really excited about this. It was for Ninja Trader Seven, and uh, <laughs> you know, it was like a real time communications tool or a real time way to share, you know, what you're seeing in the market, and people could see your cursor, they could see your chart, they could hear you. Uh, we tested it with hundreds of people. It was all real time. Uh, I had Gomi helping. I mean, it was, I was really excited. And then I got like really, really sick with a really terrible pneumonia. And it was right over the holidays. And by the time I recuperated, Gomi didn't have free time anymore to work on it. The whole project kind of died. And that's the story of my life. I have all these things that kind of die. But anyway, that's, that's why I was so interested. Um, Okay. You know, we are actually, we are looking into something like that. Uh, we have spoke to a number of developers where people can share charts on Ninja, uh, you know, even imitate each other's trades and so forth. The, you know, the dilemma is always, is there a demand for such a product? It, it, it's amazing that we are on the other side of the customer as brokers or yourself, you know, running the successful forum you think that there are certain tools out there that would be very useful, but I also realized along the way that there's a certain fatigue to the customers, that they already don't know anymore what's useful, what's not useful. <laughs> I mean, even when you provide something for free, just sometimes, you know, it's not taken. So yep. it's yep. now we when we develop a product, you know, we try to talk to customers, say, would it be useful to you? Would it be good? You know, just go beyond the theoretical. Okay, well, we have two remaining questions, it looks like. Um, T. Uh, Zeggers, I hope I said that correctly, is asking about other exchanges such as Urex. Um, what's, what's up with those? Any comment on that stuff? Yeah, sure. Uh, you know, for the longest time, you know, we, we really wanted to implement things to Rhythmic, uh, but, you know, Rhythmic does not have any Urex, as far as I know, that can directly uh, go um, to, um, you know, direct feed to them. I, I really don't know what the deal is. I'll, I'll be very, very honest. Uh, we know that Vision Financial Markets does not have directly relationship, does not have a seat on Eurex. So for the longest time, you know, all the, the intermediaries that Vision has tried to use and so forth were very, very expensive. And now we're actually clearing continuum uh, through Urex using Jefferies. And those of you who know Jefferies is a really, really big firm out there. Um, so they're not small players. They're institutional traders. They've actually uh, given us a very good rate. And before, we didn't implement Urex because we really couldn't give an, a reasonable rate to customers. Yep. So I yep. just didn't want to implement it. Now we, we can actually do Urex through continuum. Um, on Ninja and, and, and the other platforms. Okay. 
Yeah, I've talked to some FCMs in the past, and they, they basically said Urex is really, really difficult to work with compared to the CME. So that's a common theme, I guess. I, I, I really don't know how, how this whole politics of working there between data feeds and FCMs and everything else would, I mean, with Vision, Rhythmic, and us, it's very simple, where basically Rhythmic goes right to Vision and they have a membership and it's all good. Right. But I find that majority of other FCMs, they don't have a membership on Eurex, so they really have to find somebody much bigger that would give them a reasonable rate and now you yep. added another party, right? So. Yep, yep. Okay, looks like we have one final question that comes from Asterix and he's saying on IntraTrader uh, with Rhythmic, uh, who is providing the historical data? Is it IntraTrader or is it Rhythmic? IntraTrader. It's actually, as far as I know, it's residing on their servers and they're the one providing it. Um, Rhythmic does not provide history. It's really up to the uh, platform provider uh, to, to have that. I think the history starts with Rhythmic from the minute you start. But specifically from, with NinjaTrader, it's, um, it's NinjaTrader that provides the history, the, the ticket right. history data and so forth. Right. And I think Sierra Chart has a, has a similar deal now too um, where they provide it, I think. So. Correct. Okay. So that's pretty cool. I don't see any other questions from anybody. So if anybody does have questions, what's the best way for them to reach you, Matt? Um, the best way here, I'm going to click on Contact Us. Uh, you have here uh, general at optimistfutures.com. This is where basically you can send all your general questions and so forth. Naturally, you can also contact me. Uh, it's Matt, M-A-T-T, at OptimistFutures.com. I try to answer all the emails that come my way. Uh, and I work very late hours, so don't hesitate to, uh, to do that anytime. And above all, you know, you can always call me. I'm very approachable. I'm not, I, I work with my team. Um, I work along with my group. I'm not just a boss here, um, not just a guy who owns the firm. I work with them just like everything else. I have fantastic people that I work with. They're really, really good. They really try their best. Um, and I think as we grow our group with people, we really try to bring also decent people that uh, are pleasant and nice to work with, not aggressive, uh, because obviously we understand the there's different levels of understanding in the markets. We want to make sure that the beginners are traded right, sure. and yet the professionals are also being accommodated with specific technical needs. Sure. Okay. All right, man. So if anybody has questions, uh, there you go. That's how you can get a hold of Matt. And I'm going to post this recording sometime later today, so if you missed it, you can watch it again. And last but not least, uh, there's a thread on BMT for anybody that has questions about Optimus. You could use that thread or you could read the other reviews that people have left or the other comments, people talking about Optimus. You can check that out. All right. Thanks, Matt. And I guess Mike, I'll see you again you soon. Well. Yeah, no Absolutely. problem. Absolutely. No problem. Thank you for the effort. All right. Thanks, guys. See everybody later. Bye. Okay. Take care, guys. Bye.